Now, in this video, we will want to look at the can clinical manifestations of candidiasis, right? Candidiasis is a disease caused by the fungus candida. So, let's just see what we have seen so far. So far, we saw that uh, candida is a fungus. <clears throat> it is actually living inside us uh, normally as anatomical flora. However, whenever there is an opportunity like low infection, uh, low immunity, it causes infection within us. So that is what is called as opportunistic infection. Any fungal disease is called as mycosis. Okay. So candida will cause all these things, superficial mycosis, systemic mycosis and opportunistic mycosis. So this is uh, the photo of candida. So you can see here, there is pseudo hyphae. And uh, here, basically the it is yeast like, so it is budding, but it, they are not separate. The buds are not separated, right? they are all like continuous. So this is candida. The species of candida you should know are candida albicans, the main one, candida albicans you should not forget, then candida tropicalis, then you have, you can remember the other names if you want, candida vishwanathi is also there. The pathogenesis we saw in the last video, basically the predisposing factors to a candida infection will be something like age, younger age, very old age, pregnancy, immunity, if the person has low immunity like... Uh, <clears throat> because of steroids or HIV or because of immunosuppressive therapy, organ transplant, malignancy, etc. Because of all this, the person, if he is having less immunity, then whatever anatomical flora is present in us, they themselves will start attacking us. Broad spectrum antibiotics, like if a person is taking tetracycline, doxycycline, any broad spectrum antibiotic, then he, that person can get um, opportunistic infection. What happens with this broad spectrum antibiotics? They kill a wide range of uh, bacteria within us. So the protective bacteria in us also die. Then all these opportunistic infections, they start attacking us. This is called a supra infection. Other uh, predisposing factors are like uh, diabetes, mellitus, febrile neutropenia, zinc and iron deficiency, etc. Okay, so these are the predisposing factors for candidiasis, which we have seen in the last video. Now, virulence factors for candida, uh, there are a lot of virulence factors like adhesins. So, they can stick to our skin and mucosa. Enzymes like aspartyl proteinases and serine proteinases, these will help in tissue invasion. Close your eyes and say aspartyl, aspartyl proteinase and serine proteinase, candida, okay. Toxins like glycoprotein and cell wall which are pyrogenic. Then you have pseudo hyphae uh, which releases uh, phospholipase from its tip, from the hyphal tip they release phospholipase which may also help in invasion. These candida also do phenotypic switching like sometimes they are yeast, sometimes they are pseudo hyphae, sometimes they are true hyphae. Because of all this dimorphism they are able to escape the host immunity. Okay, And they can adapt to any environment. So they are the most common fungal infection. Candidiasis is the most common fungal infection. Now let's move on to clinical manifestations. This is exactly what we want to cover in this video. So let's get started. Well, mucosal candidiasis. So in this what and all is there? So much is there. Okay, let's look at this mucosal candidiasis. So here you have oral thrush, oropharyngeal candidiasis. Open your mouth and see inside there is what? Oral thrush, oral candidiasis. Okay. So it is present as white adherent painless patches in the mouth. What is there? White adherent painless patches in the mouth. White adherent painless patches in the mouth. White adherent painless patches in the mouth. Oral thrush, oral oropharyngeal candidiasis. Then coming to candida vulvo vaginalis vaginitis. Okay, here uh, it is characterized by pruritus pain, pruritus that is itching, pain, vaginal discharge that is usually thin but may become whitish curd. So this is very important, you should remember. Whitish curd like discharge from the vagina and pruritus that is itching and pain. Okay. So we are done with the vulvovaginitis. Okay. Now let us look at this one. Balantis and the balanopos. Pos what? Posthetis. 
So this is occurring in uncircumscribed meals. Okay. In uncircumcised meals. So they can this can occur in uncircumcised meals, balantitis and balanlo postitis. Okay. Uh, but of course, if a person is uh, uncircumcised and he keeps clean, there's no issue. It's no uh, propaganda for circumcision. Esophageal, esophageal candidiasis. So there can be esophageal candidiasis, guys. Then there can be angular stomatitis and denture stomatitis. See, denture stomatitis. It's an interesting word, right here. Chronic mucocutaneous candidiasis. That means from a long time it's present, seen in infants and children with deficient uh, cell mediated immunity. The lesions are produced involving hair, skin, hair, nail, skin and mucous membrane which are usually resistant to treatment. They are resistant to treatment. Not a good thing, right? Let's mark it in a different color. They are resistant to treatment. It is associated with other endocrine abnormalities. So this was about mucosal candidiasis. Hope you understood something. Oral thrush, vulvo, uh, candida vulvovaginitis, esophageal candidiasis, denture stomatitis, chronic muco mucocutaneous candidiasis, candidiasis. Okay. I think it's time to move on to the next topic here, cutaneous candidiasis. So the following cutaneous uh, manifestations are produced, which are those? Intertrigo. Intertrigo. Characterized by erythema and pustules in skin folds associated with tight fitting undergarments and sweating. Oops. Associated with tight fitting undergarments and sweating. Guys, be careful. Huh? Don't wear tight fitting undergarments and sweat. Look at this one. Intertrigo. Intertrigo means in that underwear, tight fitting underwear. Sweating, this candida will come and start infecting. Erythema, pustules and skin folds. Okay. Then, paronychia. Nychia means something to, to do with nails, correct? So, what is this paronychia? So, paronychia means involving the nail skin surface. You see this nail skin surface. Uh, onco, onychomycosis. It is fungal infection of nail. Okay. That is the fungal infection of nail. Diaper candidiasis. Okay, have you heard this? Pustular rashes associated with use of diapers in infants. So that can be because of candida. It's pretty uh, understandable, right? Pustular rashes in infants wearing diapers or anybody wearing diapers for that matter. Perianal candidiasis uh, around the anus. Perianal candidiasis. Then you have erosio Interdigitalis blastomycetita. Erosio interdigitalis blastomycetita. It is an infection affecting the web spaces of hands or toes. See, between your uh, fingers, that kind of a curve is there, right? Between your fingers, the down the curve there, that web spaces. Okay, so it's an infection affecting the web spaces of hands or toes. So, Erosio interdigitalis blastomycita. You can easily remember with interdigitalis. Mycetia also not difficult, right? So it is between web spaces of fingers and toes. Okay. Infection of the web spaces of fingers and toes. So that is Erosio interdigitalis blastomycetita. Going on, generalized disseminated cutaneous candidiasis is seen in infants, okay. Generalized also can be there. Now guys, what did we learn so far in cutaneous uh, candidiasis? Cutaneous candidiasis, what and all you saw, diaper rash, then web spaces of fingers, then undergarments if it's very tight, that is called as intertrigo, right. Then skin, uh, uh, the skin and nail interface, that is paronychia. Right? Perianal candidiasis, all that we have seen. Now let's revise cutaneous candidiasis with this guy. Intertrigo. Intertrigo, why it will happen? Because of his tight underwear. Then, paronychia, nails. Right? Then web spaces between the fingers. That is uh, 
erosio interdigitalis blastomycete teta then diaper rash so they will have diaper rash and then perianal perianal also he can have candidiasis then generalized disseminated cutaneous candidiasis so all this we have written for this guy so we'll take this diagram and put it here for cutaneous candidiasis now let us move on to invasive candidiasis this is due to hematogenous spread that is via blood if this fungus reaches where and all it will reach it will reach pulmonary candidiasis right so obviously it will affect the lungs septicemia that is it is in the blood so obviously septicemia arthritis osteomyelitis meningitis it's reaching the brain the meninges of the brain ocular keratoconjunctivitis end ophthalmitis hepatosplenic candidiasis disseminated candidiasis and nosocomial candidiasis mainly by candida glaba glabrata so glabrata also this name you have to remember so let us highlight uh, in our uh, species discussion let us highlight glabrata it's important okay candida albicans candida tropicalis candida glabrata candida vishwanathi glabrata is important in the pathogenesis right so what and all is affected now let us mark that so urinary tract infection because of uh, candida this is an invasive candidiasis urinary tract infection pulmonary candidiasis septicemia all over blood 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 septicemia arthritis the joints osteomyelitis meningitis the covering of the brain ocular the eyes are affected ocular keratoconjunctivitis and ophthalmitis hepatosplenic candidiasis looks like it didn't leave any organ disseminated candidiasis here and there nosocomial candidiasis by candida glabrata so all these are invasive candidiasis so now we are moving to allergic candidiasis candida this is uh, there can be an allergic reaction to the metabolites of candida so by the metabolites of candida to the metabolites of candida our body can be allergic this can be characterized by vesicular lesions in the web space of hands so between the web space of hands any time there is something now you can suspect candida and other areas that are similar to dermato dermatophoid reaction okay so this is called as id reaction oh this is id reaction this is called as id reaction that means what two conditions together are called id reaction so <clears throat> dermatophoid reaction lesions in web spaces of hand and other areas this only is id reaction guys just pay attention here it's not difficult see what happens to the metabolites of candida our body can be allergic that time what will happen there will be lesions in the web spaces remember web spaces of hand and other areas there will be lesions which are similar to the dermatophytid reaction it is very similar to the dermatophytid reaction so you understood right dermatophytid that's why it's called as id reaction that's all where is id reaction if they give you in the exam don't worry what id reaction are what is id reaction nothing but candida cand id id see cand i id 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 cand id id cand id id is id reaction cand id 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 reaction okay over no then other allergic reactions are what and all gastritis irritable bowel syndrome eczema etc that's all very easy gastritis irritable bowel syndrome and eczema so time to revise the clinical uh, manifestations of candida so clinical manifestations what and all can be there mucosal candidiasis cutaneous candidiasis this is cutaneous then you have invasive uh, candidiasis and then allergic candidiasis four things so first of all in mucosal candidiasis oral thrush you should write this word oral thrush then uh, candida vulvo vaginalis uh, vaginitis that you should remember esophageal candidiasis balantis uh, denture stomatitis all this you can write 
cutaneous candidiasis because of uh, diapers, because of uh, tight underwear and sweating. There can be intertrigo, that is because of tight underwear, intertrigo, because of diaper, diaper candidiasis. Then perianal candidiasis can be there. Between the web spaces of fingers, there can be RCO, interdigitalis, blastomycetica. Tica, yeah, my blastomycetica, that is between the web spaces and nails that can be paronychia. Okay. Then there can be generalized disseminated cutaneous candidiasis. So this is about the cutaneous, right? Invasive candidiasis because of hematogenous spread, it may reach the pulmonary uh, uh, system and become pulmonary candidiasis, urinary tract infection, liver, that is hepatospleno candidiasis can be there. And uh, there can be septicemia because of the fungus in the blood. Then joint spaces that is arthritis, osteomyelitis, all this meningitis can happen. And then uh, ocular, ocular keratoconjunctivitis and end ophthalm ophthalmitis can happen. Okay. Allergic candidiasis, uh, canned ID, ID, canned ID, ID, candid, candid, ID reaction is due to allergic reaction to the metabolites of candida. So here what happens, uh, the, there will be lesions in the web spaces of hands and other areas similar to the dermato fighted reaction that's why it's called as id reaction there can be other allergic reactions like gastritis irritable bowel syndrome eczema due to candida so now we are done 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 with clinical manifestation of candidiasis in the next video we want to look at uh, a laboratory diagnosis of candidiasis okay in that we will see the specimen collection direct microscopy culture tests for the species identification immunodiagnosis this is from our lab this is on SDA agar, okay, cyberout dextrose agar. This is candida. Then you have uh, treatment, you have azole, topical azole for cutaneous candidiasis. Cutaneous candidiasis, what and all you saw? That uh, underwear thing, what was that? Intertrigo, for all that you can give this azole, right? Then for diaper candidiasis, perianal candidiasis, all this uh, web space infection that is interdigitalis, uh, blastomycetes, theta, for all that you can give, topical azul. And for um, vulvovaginalis, uh, esophageal, all these are what? Mucosal, right? Sorry, mucosal candidiasis, for that you can give fluconazole. For disseminated candidiasis, you can give amphotericin B. Meet, meet us in the next video to understand the laboratory diagnosis of candidiasis. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.